Hey guys, Dr. Mictus here. Welcome back to some more of our road to the league. Now I'm feeling much better. However, stuff is still draining, so I won't feel as my normal self or sound like my normal self for a little bit. But we have a lot to go over before we get into this game. It's going to be a league game and an FA Cup game. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So Today's game, Manchester United, we're going to take on. They are third in the table. The key man is uh, Kaku or Kweek. I, I have no idea, but he's a very good player. Jeez, 21 years old. I mean, I, I wish we could get a guy like this, but Jesus. So he is their main man. And then we're going to take on Derby County. Now, Derby County has knocked us out of a couple cups. Which is why we're gonna play that play them. Well, maybe they haven't knocked us out. And we have a good. We're gonna play it because of the FA Cup, and I want to get a cup game in here because uh, Champions League. I want that to be all uh, both of those games in the next one. Plus, I think the the draw should be somewhere around here. So there is that. Let's go over some transfer history. So we brought in. Jokic Longrig Kenwright from Liverpool for 19 million. Um, we just need a player to fill in a gap who was English, and well, that's what he's doing out here. He's filling in a gap. Um, on the back side, Jose Gonzalez went to Al Shabab for 4.8. That's why we had to bring in another English player. Then Oreo went to Villarreal. Which causes us to register one of our youth players. Uh, Finley went to Johnstone. He's just one of our youth players. People going out on loan. Went over to Aldershot Town. Noah Bernard. Goes to Anderlich on loan. I think that is an actual. It does have an optional fee. Mick Lloyd goes to Brentford. Another one of our youth players. So some of our youth players are, players are going out. But I mean we're still hammering money at this point. 55 million, but winning wise in a good run in the Champions League, maybe another round or two should have us equal that projection. So we'll only be about 62 million in the hole. Yeah. Rios is unhappy because uh, Bayern came a knocking and we said no. Um, so yeah, there's that. There's questions on if we should send Connor Martin out in the summer. I don't know. We're not having the goal scorers that we're kind of in a slump right now. 14 goals though for Rios. I mean, he's been okay. He's consistent. Uh, Connor Martin also being English helps us a lot more than normal also. There's that. Like Varelia. Is getting up to his potential as well. We're getting Enrique some more playing time, trying to get him up. I think he could be a very good player. We're hoping he progresses more. I'm getting more and more some playing time to Holmgren as we slowly face him in. I think he could be a key piece in the middle. Uh, Malik is probably looking like a player when we get on the backside in the summer, is likely going to be sold. But he's he be registered for both of us. So the issue is he's actually a good player for us here. Stodvik, I mean, maybe. So we have a lot of players that we probably want to get out. Um, Stodvik is up here because we have uh, Askarov is suspended for this game. Yeah. I'm, I'm mad. And we're just trying to get through. Now, Tim Austin, he was also suspended. We're going to get him back in. So, Tim Austin. Get him back in. We're trying to get him up, and I think he could be a good player for us, but he just needs to play naturally better across the board. But I feel like he's he's a pretty good player. And he could grow into something uh, as time goes on. Guillermo does have, uh, is joining Sevilla. That one was 
I don't think it's on here. I think it's for like 22 or so. Do I? Yeah, I can't actually assume when that, what that offer was. But it's about 22 million. So at the end of the day, we are about there. And uh, Macrith is also uh, deciding to retire. So there's that. So honestly, when we look at this, when we look at the cash, we have a good run. We could probably put this down to where we're probably around, oh, I don't know, negative 40 million. But that still doesn't bode well for our transfer budget next season which likely means we have to either sell people to bring more people in or just roll with this group again and what this group is doing at the end of the day is a ninth place finish right now with 27 games played we're at 40 points only two points behind liverpool and west ham but five behind man city is sixth Seven behind Tottenham, eight behind Southampton in the Champions League spots. So Southampton and Tottenham are in these Champions League spots. It's only seven points behind those guys, but we need a European competition going into this game. We were knocked out in the quarterfinal by Everton. I think we saw that last episode. Wasn't great. We ended up finishing the Champions League in the top eight with uh, Milan, Bayern, uh, Real Madrid, uh, Dortmund, Chelsea, Arsenal, and Barcelona with us. So. We'll have to see ultimately who plays in that. There's been a couple of games, but uh, yeah, not everyone has played. Only, only some. So at this point in the Champions League, Tottenham was advancing. Uh, Girona, or Spanish, so Girona. Uh, Atletico Madrid beats Leipzig. Uh, Juventus beat Real San Sebastian. Uh, Ajax and Rangers still have to play, and then these guys down here, all tied, which is interesting. That uh, Fire North scored three against Man City. Going through the games we've had, I think the last one we played was Everton. Yeah, because I played all through these games. So to kind of sum this up. Sheffield United, this was a 4-1 loss, but then we countered with Fulham, a 4-1 win. Southampton, big goose gag here. Varelli got injured. He was out for a couple of days or a couple of weeks at this point, but yeah, it wasn't great. We take that uh, lackluster performance into an Arsenal game where we draw them for the tie uh, in the 94th minute. They're able to get it. Otherwise, we would have won that 3-2. Uh, in Chelsea, the top team, the number one in the table at this point. Uh, or not anymore, but they were at this particular point. Beat us 5-1. That was a battering. Bafa gets some fitness in there. Alves does get a knock. We went to Doncaster Rovers. We played a rotated side, and we beat them 4-2. Probably a little bit of overconfidence because later we have an issue. West Ham 4-2. But the starters getting a little break going into Liverpool as well. Fafa gets banged up again for another couple of weeks, but as a 4 0 win. Tottenham, we just could not get it done. I kind of sub late at a couple of players trying to get them some playing time just to see if we can get some fresh legs. But we just can't get it. Uh, Griffiths out here with an 8.0. We had a couple goals, I think, also called back. They played Inter. The Champions League game 2 1. They beat us. We just could not finish the ball. We had a couple of chances. In Barrow AFC, we played a rotated side, and we were lucky to uh, actually get away with a 1-1 draw in this one. We had a couple of actual late attempts, but Ronaldson comes through and blocks that. But ultimately, that goal of the score was completely on him, and, well, he doesn't get a good XG for that. Rona comes to England, plays us. We have a goal that is called actually an own goal with that that gives them the tie. Um, we probably could have finished if you had that win with uh, probably at third, but uh, ultimately that own goal uh, allows them to tie it up. And honestly, does that give? It probably gives Girona, Girona, I should say, for the draw. Not really. We came to Juventus. If we would have, we would have beat Juventus. 
No, they still would have been in. Because they'd be at eight points. They have the goal difference against Leon. So they would have been in. Okay. Oh, it's Inter. And Inter is up here, so. We actually beat Juventus up here. Then, uh, uh, Man City with this one, 2 1. We were able to get a goal. 93rd minute, just not able to get it done. We went to the FA Cup replay, played our starters, and battered them 3 0. West Brom is our next victim, 3 1. And then we get absolutely trounced. Just be at a man sent off. This is Askarov's red card. He has no goal. In the 35th minute. I think it's frustrating to get a red card. Tim Austin comes off. We are down to nine men at one point in this game. And it just went to hell. I don't want to talk about it. Aston Villa beats us 1-0 in this as we collectively keep struggling. And now we have Man City. Or uh, United. Manchester United and in Derby County today. Um, what's this draw? Let's see FA Cup. Mm. Mm. Third. It has to be somewhere in here or in here. So we'll have the draw at the end of the episode. So we'll see that. Okay, here we go. It is Manchester United. They're third. We're ninth. We're playing 4 4 2, and we need to get this going. Gervis is in. Stodvik will be on the left side. Otherwise, let's just get some good play. Let's get some good play, boys. Let's get some good play. Mm, yeah, we need to. We're mid table in XG right now. We need to. We need to pump it up. Pump those numbers up. Rookie numbers. Actually, not rookie numbers. It's just bad numbers, to be honest. I think next season we might pop off this formation. Jeez. Okay. The reason I'm fine with this is because on the attack, we still have that middle back. Playing here, but he's not playing here because he's not playing. Actually, we need to go back to this. I'm thinking about it. And why do we have to go back to this? Well, because we don't have Askarov playing. So we're actually allowing the middle of the field be empty right now. But we're playing. So this could give you an idea. Naturally, what we have in this formation is to put my tactics in here and for the sake of things i don't have it up give me a second all right so i'll i'm gonna get this going whoops that's the wrong one so the idea is this when we're playing um in this formation Chip ends up occupying this space and kind of with Rios. So how this kind of bits is Rios is taking like this area. Chip is taking this area. Thad has this. And Askarov on the offense is playing this. So in reality, it becomes a four with a fifth in the middle. That's here. And it's this. So essentially it becomes a a triangle there and then two back and this guy is floating on this side up and down but we can't play this way because Stafik is playing all the way up so is Griffiths and Stafik can cut inside so realistically we have to play like this because then Martin can occupy whoops occupy this space and Stafik's up here you have two in the middle. Chip will play up, but also back. He's like playing this space. 
The link is still spawning in this space. You have your pair back. You have your three up front. You really have those. So that's the idea of why I'm doing this. I like whiteboard. Whiteboard's amazing. Okay. I'm going to be positive. And here we go. All right, Martin's going to put this back post. Rios isn't going to win that. Enrique. Come on, that has to be a better play. See, now look. Look at how we have here. It's much more easier to pass. We don't have a consistent gap. There we go. Oh, Rios missed it. So yeah, that feels much, it's much balanced. Unfortunately, Malik got a uh, penalty. Martin, going back post. Rios off the post. That's just unfortunate. Off the post. didn't mean to put the mic a little bit further away from me I, I tend to put it like up here whoops I just had it but uh my all my P's and my T's and all of that are all over the place all right what is this are we the Harlem globe well no the Harlem Go tribers globe tribers Gro globe trotters are actually good my internet technically just went out. It's okay. It, it's okay. No panic. I'm, I'm, I'm actually panicking here. Let's go. Because it should be 2 1 and. Aurelia. Mm. Not happy with the finishing. We haven't been bad, but we haven't necessarily been good. We've kind of just been meh. And meh doesn't win you games against an actual good team in form. Okay, that was a good actual clear. Plays it all the way back. Stotvik. I don't know who that was even remotely passed to, but there is no one there. Okay, Ronaldson comes out on that. We're getting Ronaldson to playing time because I think he could be better than, uh, what's his face? Benitez. It's a good ball. That's not even... Am I playing too, too forward right now? Like if everyone's playing a 4-4-2, am I playing too attacking? I just personally never have any success with a 4-4-2. And maybe I need to consider it more. To be honest. What we're talking about though is a complete revamp of this team. We've kind of put it all away. Oh, kind of centered it around the style of play so I'm kind of concerned if we were to change it what would we ultimately be changing it to um, not good up top let's get Martin up to put him up let's put
Can't someone, one of you play? No, none of you can play any of those. We could play just Pickford right here. I'd rather have Alves here, to be honest. I mean, this is a 4-4-2. Balance team. Ooh. Hit the post again. This is a very balanced 4-4-2 team. Why? I'm gonna have to think about this. Cause I think, we, I don't want to think about running something that I'm not comfortable will be actually good with. The issue is the attackers. We have too many attackers probably. Is it asymmetric time? That I don't know. But we're just ha we're struggling fighting through this four four two. They're having a five shell attack us. And again, struggling to get through it. What do they have on the side, opposition wise? Two wings to get on the side, a CM that's playing in this space, an AP. So really they're hitting us with a box. So let's, let's use the, so really they're hitting us with this. The box here, the wing backs are playing all the way to the line. And these guys are playing up to here. Um, a change to a four four two is probably dramatic. It's dramatic to a reaction of being beat by a good team four one. I'm going to do some mad scientist uh, thought process here and come up with something because I feel like all of our big losses see for uh, this Man City was playing at 442 Newcastle whoops playing attacking Man City is playing a 4-4-2 if I'm not mistaken yeah they're playing a 4-4-2 um Liverpool though we beat them oh I could just look over here Four two. Chelsea with a four four two. 
Arsenal with a 4-4-2. If you're in, I have a 4-4-2. We've been having issues against stronger teams running a 4-4-2. All right, so I'm going to do some math scientist work here. All right, so I have come up with my mad scientist idea, and this is what it's going to be. So the idea is Rio covers from here to here. Martin is our attack. Chip will go up all the way up to the byline. So we're Varelia. Varelia has 13, 11 to 13 uh, uh, assists. So Varelia can play up here and around that area. Ask uh, Holmgren to move up and play in this spot. And Askarov will come up and play in here. Dad will play from here. Here. These guys are centered back here. One is a cover, so he's kind of laid back. And then Griffiths also plays all the way up the byline as well. So what that kind of does when we're attacking, we'll have four up top. Plus two. Plus one here. And we'll have our two with our wing back here. So really, it creates a two, 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 four when attacking. And then on the back side, what we'll have on defending is just a uh, two. And what is ironically a forefront with that? With Rios having a shallow bit. And then a four. So that's the idea. Will it work like that? I have no idea. But we're going to see. Because four four twos, we need to be able to soak in some pressure. Um, we're going to play with a positive mentality because this is Derby County. And, uh, yeah, so Varelia has to learn that position. Chip already knows this position. It's just he needs to get more uh, convincing with it. This is a full new position for Varelia. And I am for this. We're probably going to have to look what we want to do. In the future, but I want to train this because if we come up against a side that is very good at attacking, we need to be able to put a better form up that's harder to pass and fight through than what we've been doing right now. So let's see it. I don't know how much better this is going to be. This is Derby County, so we have to temper expectations. Of course, Varelia gets a card here. Okay. The idea, though, we want to get Malik and Holmgren up because they're uh, two players that just seem to be not our better ones, but we need to develop someone for the future. But also, hello, and actually score from there. So I like that. I like that idea there. And this is much more defensively sound, I think. Yeah. This is much more defensively sound. I like this. Then we, on the attack, I think we spread them out. We give ourselves some room to operate. Then we exploit these gaps. And we look for the space. Okay, that's just a good tackle.
Okay. Um, that's a thing. Maybe we need to play with uh, slightly shorter. Keep on playing like it's a, just a, a race up the top, and it's not. Yeah, Ronaldson has that. What's Ronaldson playing as? That's why I want him to super keeper on support. I want him to learn that. Okay. Good Malik there. Rios. In that space. I like that run by Paulo. And Martin just, just shanked that. Ain't a world cat class striker up here. That's what I need. Martin is not that. And Rios is not that. But I need a world class striker up top. And those cost world-class money, which is unfortunate. But Rios puts that in the back of the net. I, mind you, this is Derby County, but I feel like we have a better holistic attack right here. Like just looking at this, I see four with Malik being here and two crashing in the box. I feel like this is a this is a better attack. We're doing nothing but putting pressure on them. I encourage we're in a lead. Let's price. If this can work. I feel good about it. I think Varelli is offsized by a tad, maybe a foot or two. It could be even worse. I know he's offsides though. How bad is it? Yeah. About three feet. All right, let's take out Varelia. Savic's gonna come in. Um, Guillermo in the back. Washburn. Get him in for Austin. Uh, Enrique. Let's get Enrique. For Holmgren. Well, let's get him up for Martin. Let's get Alphas. Here. I'm actually. Hold on, I have an idea. It won't work. Guillermo is leaving us, right? I don't have to care about what he does. Yeah, he's leaving. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's go Askarov here. For the wing back. Givaldo here. A wing back. Because then, at least from here, Giovaldo is getting some playing time. And I would like him to get some playing time. Get better. Okay. And I'd rather have Enrique get better up top. And him learning another position. Because Enrique can bang some goals in. I'd rather him with this competitive streak to be playing up top. 
then back in the defensive winger position that could put us at a disadvantage. Especially if he makes a penalty. We've all only allowed three shots on target out of six. I thought that was good. I didn't think we played terribly bad. But I like it. And United loses to Leeds in extra time. Wow. Both of them got players sent off. Tottenham in penalties beats Ipwich. No shockers here. We might play this. I might give you Burnley as well. Because I want to see how this formation you know, secures itself. Would love a deep run in the FA up that will help us a little bit as well get out of this situation let's just go advance forward on attack let me just work right up okay so this one with uh, Burnley let's go Stotfik. And Wright's going to come in so we have another midfielder. They can come in and play. Uh, Fafa's not ready yet. We need a Stotfik. Two days of rest. Super keeper on support, I think. Then let's go. Yeah, because he's definitely getting much, much better here. The next thing we're going to do is. With Guillermo. Oh, no, okay. You're learning that. And right. I'm going to have you learn Mazala. In every case there, Pitchford. As long as Pitchford's contract. Yeah, let's start training him to be on the right. As a winger, probably not going to be happy about that. And Alves on the left, he's not going to be happy about this because he's going to learn another position. But we'll probably end up selling uh, Alves anyways. Okay. And everyone, uh, everyone else should be good. Yep, okay, Malik. Okay, everyone else is good. We're going to have to see if we can sell a lot of players going through. Yeah. That are out on loan right now. We need to make a lot of money off those guys. And whoever's not there, we need to let them out, let them go, and think about what we want to do. All right, FA Cup quarterfinal draw. An automatic draw. Nine teams left, including Arsenal and Chelsea and Man City. Arsenal will play Chelsea. Okay, I like that. Tottenham, please not us. Please Carton of City. We are the only Prem team left besides that. Oh, my God. Man City again. This is the pain of this. Whenever we can get Man City, we get Man City, and we got them again. I don't see Middlesbrough surviving that. I, I don't want to talk about that draw ever in the history of draws of mankind. I do not want to hear it. I hate my life in football manager. I hate it. Why? 
Third, Q team. To, uh, do that. Um, we had to get another scout. Neil McGinnis. You're actually good in Asia. No, just Israel. Okay. I'm going to get this one. Neil McGinnis. No, we're not. That's a lot of freaking money. Um, he just signed his contract. He just signed his contract. Um, no, I'm not paying that. Continue the advert. Continue the advert. Not paying someone 1.2 million to break a contract. It's just not happening. Plus, our scouts are bad. So I feel like we're good. Okay, here's the round of 16 that we're thinking about. Are you ready? The Champions League draw is going to be Marco Ru uh, Royce. Reese? Who's at Dortmund previously? All right. So, uh, unseeded teams, the Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Man City. Oh my god, we can draw Man City. <laughs> Don't do it to me. Oh! Corona, Rangers, Tottenham, Inter. Then on our side will be Milan, Chelsea, Bayern, Arsenal, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Dortmund. Just, just don't do it to me, please. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, AC Milan will take Man City. Verona will play us. We are going to play Verona. Okay. I actually like this. Okay. Verona. I'm, I'm ironically all about that Champions League game right there. I am all about that. Amdi, um, at the end of the day, you're just here just to be a keeper, a guy. You're, you're Jag, just a guy. Um, I mean, are we training well? We're learning yet another formation. Are the guys actually happy about this? Probably not, to be honest. But let's see if Burnley can get through it. Because if Burnley can't get through it, then we probably have something here. But I don't want to be just absolutely embarrassed because if we can win against Verona, then we can get something. But what do they play? When we play, they were playing a 4-4-2 as well. Mm, we, we had troubles fighting through that 4-4-2 as the game went on. That's right. We might end up uh, the creation center back. Selling him for someone that could be more, more solid. This means 16? Jeez. If off is still out, Tim Austin, I just need. What's the difference between this? This is the aggression. Um, I 
His bravery is good. Work rate, maybe. You know what? Strength jumping reach. Let's just see if we can get this man up there. Now, his eligibility is not trained anywhere. But if he becomes something good, he could be with us long term. Now, Malik. Okay, I just need Holmgren to be a better player. I think. Okay. Currently, see if we can get this. I think it was 4 4 2. Everyone is playing a 4 4 2. We're struggling to get through. Broly already has a one star out here. Hold on. Am I dumb? No. Maybe. No. Um, no. No, it's attacking. You can play all the way up to the left. Okay, no, I'm not I'm not dumb. I thought I was looking at something. But I was not as Fafa trained England wise, but not for us. He could be a potential guy that we end up selling as well. Okay, submit the team. Hopefully, this gets better play from the boys. Let's go. This mentality, we need something. Okay. And if you haven't seen it, it's this late to cycle. September, next football manager is probably about a month and a half out or so, about a month, month and a half. At this point, it's been delayed a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm not worried about getting some of these guys' faces because... Friday the next football manager and I want an actual attempt at a Champions League and a win here. It's been a struggle uh, this year. And I do have a couple of plans that I want to get through next year as well for next year's cycle. All right, Martin. Go deep. Come on, take that shot. Let's go. I'm going to use his score, scoring ability. He doesn't say he's going to retire, but I could see him retiring at the end of this. Okay. Oh. I don't know what Holmgren's doing there, but it's definitely not uh, anything good. Austin with the speed to get back. The most accurate pick. Here we go. Good ball. A wide Griffiths. Good ball. Rios header off the post. Clear it out. Yeah. J just, just kick it out of bounds. And do that. Since I'm playing so attacking on one side, I probably want to regroup once I lose possession. Mm. What kind of 4-4-2 are they running here? Oh, same thing. I don't want to pull them wide. But it wouldn't work anyway. Hmm. Just over.
It's pretty equal. You working full time. We seem to start stacking wins. Ooh, we missed it. Okay. Praise. Let's go. Come on. Let's get something going here. Let's go. And Rios can't do it. Come on, it's got to be a keeper ball. Let's go. Mm, good slide tackle. For the Burnley player out. So I feel like we're playing middle of the field. Both sides are pressuring each other. I don't think anyone really has a commanding grasp on this game. I mean, that kind of went any, either way. Can't fault anyone for that. A little bit more attacking. Um, come on, we can get a goal here, do some switching, maybe go a little bit more defensive. Ooh, that's a good ball. Not able to do something with it, and Feralia misses it. Okay, um, I'm going to put Stopvik up as a winger. Juvenaldo is going to come back. I'm going to get a little bit more. Griffiths, I like what he's doing there. I'm going to get a little bit more attacking. In the middle. I'm going to go here with a Mitsala. And... I'm going to keep Malik here in the middle. Uh, Guillermo. Up top. Let's go. Let's put Enrique up top. With Martin. And then we'll see what happens here. Oh, we're in a moment there. I did not notice that. Come on. They're playing a very pushed up back line here. Okay. I'm just going to go with that. That's fine. Okay, let's get Malik out. Let's get in. Ship. Or box to box. Let's pull in. Pickford out wide. Let's bring Alves up on the left side. So this is a more of an attacking bit. I'm also gonna put this man. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this as a wing back back here. Okay, let's see if that does anything. 
A little bit more of attacking bit. As I noticed, I don't have a lot of defensive players. You can play out in the wing. Let's go. Longer Ken Wright. That's his second goal of the season for us. No, that's his second goal of the season, period. His first one with a Southport uniform on. So that was a low key. Good cross. And that's just cleaning up and picking up the trash there. Oh, I forgot. Sabiri is on their uh, their team. So, former Southport player trying to put us to the sword a little bit. Good ball over the top. Alphys cross in. Pickford can't do anything with it. Come on. Okay. Ronaldson makes a good save. Yeah, let's praise. It's pretty even. Okay. I like it. All right. Never like belief. And that was a good win in the rain. So. Still. Five. No, six points behind Southampton. Same games. Man City is two less games. Two games in hand. I mean. We're trying to get up here now. The win for Crystal Palace. Wait, is Crystal? Crystal Palace won the Carabao Cup and they're a championship team. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, um... I'm, I'm not crazy with that, right? Crystal Palace? They are. Oh my god. They can't... Okay. With that in mind, because Everton lost that game. With that in mind... You have to be six or above. Right? Two European spots. Yeah. Because seven here is, is out. So sixth. How's the Europa League going? We have a Europe, European team winning this right now. Or an uh, English team. So United's still in it. Arguably, though, Sporting, Villarreal, uh, Marseille, Benfica's in here, Everton. So there's two. Atlanta. Wow. Espanol. There's, there's some good teams still in here. What about the Conference League? Newcastle. We only have one slot, I think. The Newcastle right now is eighth. Did we get a Europe? Um... We might be the odd man's out. So this FA Cup is probably particularly important. Okay, so next episode, we will take on Verona. We start in Spain for the first leg. And then second leg will be at home. And then we'll also play the FA Cup quarterfinal, which will probably be against uh, City. And then we'll see where we are for the rest of the season so thanks for hanging out go and leave a like below comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time later